Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Time SP to nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you start rapping like Never like me. Like you. Who the hell said I got to like you? What law is there say I got to like you? Wanna stand up in front of my face and ask a damn fool ass question like that? Talking about liking somebody. Come here, boy, when I talk to you. Straighten up, goddammit. I asked you a question. What law is there say I got to like you? None. All right then. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Bags and bodies. Bags and bodies. Salute to Hitman Holler for this TV show that he's coming out with. Bags and bodies is the name of it. Already in the house, you know, he was selecting a bunch of people to uh, be in the house to potentially battle for a hundred thousand dollars. I feel like this is a huge opportunity and I ain't gonna hold you. I don't know every single one of these artists. I haven't seen them all before and there'll be people that'll say, well, how can you be in your position if you don't even watch battles, bro? I'm not, I, I don't know every single battle rapper, my nigga. That would be crazy. That'd be like, yo, a person that does commentating on college basketball should know every college basketball player. It's never gonna work like that, regardless of how you may think. And if you feel like you could do a better job than any of us, do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, please do it. Um, but what I will say is this, like I said, congratulations to everybody who did make it. I will talk about uh, the, gritty, <laughs> the gritty situation. Uh, well, you know, Verb, Gwitty and Verb, if you don't know, Gwitty and Averb have been going back and forth for quite a while and Gwitty was one of the first intricate people that was promoting this Bags and Bodies TV show. Like he was advocating, he was trying to get in the house. But I heard, I heard he didn't. But I will tell you who's in there. So you got Prestavia in there. Uh, obviously Prestavia, she uh, blew up pretty quick. You know what I mean, she was on a couple of uh, joints. She was on the Chrome 23. She was on a caffeine car. She been doing her thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? She's a uh, full horseman. And she's a, she's definitely dope lyrically. I felt, um, I, you know, I'll give you your positives. The only thing I did feel like was when it ratcheted up and got to you versus Fonz, that level of competition was a little bit too much because. You know, it, it takes a lot, it, it does. It's not just raps, it's a whole package. Uh, I do feel like you have what it takes and hopefully in this scenario, we'll see what you do. Uh, Snake Eyes is on there, you already know what Snake Eyes does. Uh, you've seen him in a lot of battles. He's a great promoter, he promotes himself well. Uh, he does great face-offs, you know, his battles be cool too. You know, he's had some good ones. Him and, him and um, Twerk not too long ago was a good battle. Uh, he battled, uh, who else he battled? He battled Cortez, that battle was not good. I, I can't even get through it. The audio was so shot and so choppy. Like a lot of times when y'all niggas be battling on these off leagues and shit, like the, the quality of the battle was just not a good battle. Like some of these leagues, some of these leagues that they put together will literally be filming battles with iPhones. Like they'll literally have iPhones filming the battles. I swear to God, you can see them in the back of the footage. This is not even an iPhone that I'm recording this on. So let's just, you know, but anyway, uh, Snake Eyes does what he does. Hopefully he's going to bring it. He's going to definitely be something for TV. Uh, someone named Aeon Moore. I don't know who that is. Um, haven't seen him, but I probably sure I will. Mac Myron's in the house. Salute to Mac Myron. If I got to put my money on it, Go into it. I'm picking Mac Myron. I don't ever pick against Mac Myron. Mac Myron got them fucking flows and punches back to back to back to back. Any good joke, any could rebuttal. Any Mac Myron is like the total package battle rapper. The only thing that Mac Myron did not have, per se, is probably like the promotional thing and like the getting yourself out there and like the image of the battle rapper like he, he's he's not coming up there with like no gucci on and no fendi on. like he's not doing that you know what i'm saying but he will out rap a lot of these motherfuckers like when he rap him versus a ward what blaze with the ratchet the clip longer than the nap jesus took when slavery happened like he's going to wow on niggas mag myron to me should is, is my is one of my uh, favorites going into this. Uh, J2 is in there. I said J2 should have been in there from the beginning. Like, J2, uh, you know, people could say what they want about his preferences. That's his own personal thing. 
But when it comes to the battles, uh, he promotes himself well. He was on a um, Chrome 23 card too. And he does his thing. Like he battled Innocent Burris. He battled mad other niggas on the URL. Um, J2, you know, he's going to be somebody in there. Uh, MVP is on there. I didn't even know. Y'all haven't heard from this nigga MVP in like a year and a half, son. Like, what the fuck? These niggas, the, 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 yo, I seen other niggas get booked 15 times on URL before MVP. I seen MVP, I think like the last time MVP was on the caffeine shit, he battled like Cuban and the battle just wasn't, it wasn't a great battle for him, but so what? The nigga ain't never get an opportunity since then. And he battled real name Brandon on the tournament shit. But I just felt like he should have at least got seen again. Like there's other niggas that we see that we don't even want to see. But with MVP who went mad far in the tournament, and battled on caffeine, he don't get booked. Like, why is this nigga not getting booked? Like, shit, you can put him on some of these cars down to the fucking wires or traffics. You throw the nigga on some. This is shit I be talking about. But then if he was to ever get up and be like, yo, I'm going battle on another knee, niggas are acting like the world ended. That shit's crazy. Uh, so, yeah, I would like to see MVP. We'll see where he can go in this. Um, bad news is on there. Bad news is like, you know, he, he definitely got bars. I don't really feel like he got his big break per se. Like, you know, it just, he ain't really stuck nowhere yet. He's got a lot of other battles, you know what I'm saying? He's done battles on Bullpen. He's done battles on URL. He's done, uh, what is that? Tay Rock, the one rounder. That might have crossed a million views. I think that one rounder joint, yeah, it did cross a million views on Bullpen. He did his thing in that. The rock skip over the wave. Uh, good luck, bad news. We'll see where that goes. A uh, very interesting person in there is, uh, is Frack. Frack is definitely interesting, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's interesting. Uh, he got a lot of flows. He battled this. He had got ripped off. Um, and to see him coming into this situation is definitely different because uh, when it comes to writing with the pen, like writing and putting bars together and shit like that, Frack is probably, his pen is one of the best pens in the house. Cause I've seen Frack battle before. I forgot who I seen him battle before. It might have been reverse live. Whatever. I seen Frack battle in person before. He's nice, you know what I'm saying? And he's gonna be a problem. He's gonna be a tough out. Oh, I heard there's some females. You know, there are females that's fighting for a spot. It'll be Hope Trilly, Fendi, Ash Cash, and Rock Lee. I haven't really seen any of them battle except for Ash Cash before. But Ash Cash been doing her thing for a mad long time. So we'll see how that goes. And then they got like some more auditions and things like that. But you niggas is here for Gwitty. Gwitty! Gwitty, Gwitty, my nigga. What the fuck? What what, what happened, my nigga? Like, what? what? Why are you not in the, Nigga, you got to break your Gwitty. My nigga, you got to go to this fucking show. When they filming this shit, you got to be outside, my nigga. You got to talk your shit from outside the window, my nigga. You can't even get in! But still, son, you gotta go out there. We'll, we'll, you niggas will have to put together some money to bring Gwitty out there. Gwitty need to be a nigga, like, he's good for TV. You know, the personality is that he's funny as shit, he cracks jokes, you know, the rhymes, okay, it be some timey, but everybody's not the best MC in the world. Gwitty got a lot of fucking intangibles. Um, he's not in the house, though. A uh, verb did chime in because Gwitty called Verb. Did he call Verb the last person? The la he called Verb the worst rapper ever or some shit like that. He called Verb the worst rapper or some shit ever. So Verb says, hold on, man. Y'all blaming me for Gwitty not being in Hitman's event? How? What the F? It's not even my event. What the F is wrong with y'all? And then someone said, nah, Hitman made a mistake with that one. Gwitty would have added that personality to the show needed. That's exactly what I said. I thought Gwitty has personality. Gwitty is funny as hell. Like, even if I like what he's saying or if I don't understand what he's saying, I know I'm gonna get a laugh out of it. I watched some of Gwitty's back. Gwitty's back, I watched them shits. I watched it just to see what he gonna say or what he gonna do. His reactions alone are funny as shit. Like, sometimes it'd be some gas, but it is what it is. Um, but, uh, I think what the goal was because people, they did ask about a bunch of other names and things like that, like why is the A Ward? I don't think that this would have been a thing for A Ward to really do because it's like, what does A Ward gain or benefit from being on this show? He's already battling against some of the biggest names in the world. He's got Rum Nitty coming up and like another, this weekend or whatever. So I don't think that this is probably A Ward's fight to fight. You know what I mean? Like this is for like a lot of new, newer talent. And then, you know, Mac Myron is not the newest of names, but still, he hasn't really got them big opportunities. Bad news either. And, you know, there's a lot of other MCs on there that are pretty newer. You know what I'm saying? J2's a newer MC. 
uh, Aeon Moore was probably a newer MC and he had to definitely go crazy because it's harder to get picked up for something like this when you there's hundreds of people trying to get on and nobody really knows who you are, you know what I'm saying? MVP, uh, you know, it's good to see him get the opportunity because it was like, yo, I thought his career was going to get expanded on after he went that far in the tournament. Niggas was like, whoop, nope. I hope that's not the case. You know what I'm saying? A lot of other newer MCs. And like I said, I don't know every single new MC or every new battle rapper. And I, I get flack for that too. Oh, how do you do this? And you don't know that. And blah. At the end of the day, I really don't give a fuck because I'm going to watch who I'm going to watch anyway. But I be trying, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, they got family, kids, they can be busy and shit. I can't watch every single battle that comes through my YouTube. Like, that shit is just never going to happen. But I hope that the cats that's in this joint bring their motherfucking A game. You know what I'm saying? Climbing up the ladder because that's all that motherfucking matters. You know who I be. I'm out. Okay.